Hey guys, welcome back to it and the fresh episode on wireless technology. So in today's video, let's see some of the topologies uh, where WLAN connect various devices. So topology in its basic form uh, is the way or the fashion in which different devices are connected. And so in WPAN, we have the master as well as the slave architecture. So uh, in this video, let's understand how the master is connected to different slave devices. So let's get started. So we have two basic topologies in WPAN that is we have the PicoNet as well as the ScatterNet. So let's begin first with the PicoNet. So in this you have a centralized master and then you have n number of slate devices which are connected to this master at one point of time. So uh, there is one master device and there could be one plus that is one or more slave devices. There could be either one slave device or there could be n number of slave devices and so that n is limited. Now the data transfer is done by the master device so whatever you see the connection here that is the uh, red lines which you see here so in this the master is connected to a number of slave devices and so master decides when it needs to relinquish the connection to that particular slave device. So the slave device is uh, basically a 3 bit logical address which is assigned to each of the masters so that it can uniquely identify that it is connected to which master and then it is limited to 7. So the number of slave devices which are there in Bluetooth are limited to 7 slave devices and the slave devices which are connected that should be active slave devices and not passive or sleeping slave devices. Uh, next the master in this is uh, done by an election process with respect to the proximity to serve different slaves uh, like in your country also you elect your presidents of your country so uh, in the same way master in this is elected uh, with respect to the slave devices means uh, what is the proximity of that slave device with respect to that master based upon that they elect a particular master and so to improve the bandwidth efficiency we use the FHSS that is frequency hopping spread spectrum technique and for slave switching uh, like uh, at one point of time master would be serving which kind of slave so that is decided with the help of a round robin algorithm in this and master at one point of time can only serve uh, one slave at a time and it can change according to time means tomorrow if your master device is just moving far away from your slave then you can elect different master like in your country also if your president uh, changes over that particular duration or that particular tenure then you elect another president so in that way only your master slaves according to time now let's move on to the scatter net so if you just collaborate multiple pico nets then that forms a scatter net so this is how uh, basic uh, network architecture of how the scatter net looks like so in this there is one centralized uh, slave device and this slave device can act as both master as well as both slave so that is the peculiarity of this kind of topology so it's formed by two or more pico nets uh, that is at least requirement is you need to have two pico net or uh, any number greater than two can also be used to form a scatter net so uh, this uh, one slave or this one can play uh, a double role that is a dual role it can play that is as a master at one point of time and as well as a slave in another point of time so uh, consider this piconet uh, one scenario so in that you have uh, one master so this is master of one piconet so this master is connected to this slave this one this one this one so it is connected to n number of slaves that is five slaves you have here so this master is connected to these many number of slaves whereas if you consider this piconet master in this is this one so this is connected to this slave this connected to this one, this connected to this one. So in this scenario, this becomes a slave, but in this scenario, this becomes a master. So uh, in scatternet only, uh, device can act as both master as well as slave in the same time. So the device is not allowed to play as master in more than one piconet at the same time. It can however play as a role of master as well as slave at one point of time, but it cannot play master at both the times means it cannot play master in this scenario as well as it cannot play master in this scenario see by looking at this you can have an idea like this can serve as a master in this but you should remember that this is not served as a master in this case or this in piconet but uh, this is a master of this piconet and this is connected to this so uh, this is the double end topology so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are educated watching this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video